<laughs> we'll do it a little bit later. And it's Asterix Wart once more. No big surprise once more. Let's just keep this like we always do and start by analyzing a little bit the map. Right now on the point of view of Riot, let's see how does this look like for him. On the point of view of Viper, no perth. Yeah, not good at all. Look at this, there's so much open space to, next to the berries, next to the gold. He has no wood on the left hand side, just very far away. I think it will be extremely tough for him to walk. Let's uh, see what will be his strategy. Taking a look at Riot right here on the top side of the map. One good thing, I see a board on the back of his town center, so that <laughs> means a double war steal will most likely not be happening here, at least not for Viper's point of view. But what about his map? Yeah, no it's way better. Um, he has a lot of woods, um, gold spots, um, and I think some deers on the top. Uh, yeah, right here. Right deer close. really close to the TC as well. Quite easily lurable, so the map does look quite nice. And just as you said before, quite easily wallable as well. Many forests, so only small gaps in between them, making it so more so much more easier to wall right here for a really nice map for him. And I try to understand the scout viper. It looks like he really enjoyed what he did last game going forward with the scout already. Looks like this time will be much harder to actually find a board. At least from the left side, there is a board right here, but probably viper won't be seeing it just yet. Yeah, he's choosing the wrong way. Actually, it's 50-50. So yeah, it's 50-50, right? There. We're going he to go. Even know whether to see yeah, exactly. Oh, so going Oops, to go to the point of view. No, he just saw it straight away. Ooh, probably going to steal. Yep. Probably going to steal a sheep right there, and Riot knows what happened last game. <laughs> he will villagers. be going for the villager here at the front board as fast as possible. He was even scouting quite close to it, and uh, the double deer patch for him maybe not going to be able to make much use of it, but I guess these three deer right here could be quite useful. Yeah, I think so as well. Before the rush, and he knows, okay, it's unlikely to get too many balls of Viper because he's getting his balls early as well. So I might see um, Viper, no, 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 Rio obviously pushing uh, on leering his deer into A his A couple system. of deer indeed. Viper going back to the place where he was happy on the last game, trying to find a war here. He won't be very lucky, even if he finds this one. Oof, I'll be damned. He will try to steal that one. No chance Riot is going for him. So let's take a look at what is Viper doing back at home. Uh, the meal this time on the front side of the berries. Okay. On the inside. Yeah, maybe he doesn't really have a preference in trying to just set up a best mill placement concerning how, like, depending on how the actual little six berries are placed or it's just random. Probably just a random Viper gonna take his second board right now. Reed won't be able to steal it. Reed only now going forward with his count. Going to be able to find the wood line of the Viper. And he will know. Well, not that he actually needs to scout it to know that it's going to be something Drush-ish. Something close to a Drush or maybe a Man at Arms Rush. We still don't know. Still waiting to see if the Viper is going to drop at Barracks right now. Yeah, Seems to be delaying it. Oh, yeah. Smells drushy, I'd say. Yes, smells drushy indeed. This is really needed to be careful with the Eagle Warrior. Viper is not going to even try to take a hit. He knows that Riot is watching. Needs to be careful with the Sheep as well. Nope, everything good. Viper keeps them all. Starting to make a barracks. No huge surprise. Let's take a look if Riot is doing the same. Yes, he is. Right here in the front. Perfect building placement. Yeah, absolutely. That was his, uh, the top house was the house for pop 20. So you already could see he was setting up the wall quite early. And obviously going for a Josh as well. A very strong strategy. And I get in there. Deer here as well, getting house not ideal. He will be finishing that house any second now. There it is. Getting the deer so close to the TC, very important. Viper did say that as well. If you want to go drush fast castles Aztecs, it's really important that you take a little bit of deer food because you will be doing five militia instead of the regular three. Yeah, and the Viper doesn't have the deers, but he has three extra sheep. Indeed, he's got a couple of extra sheep right here. He's got three militia done already. Let's go into his point of view. Riot getting housed once more. A little bit unfortunate with 
fifth one on the way for Viper. I need to try to understand, well, where will he actually be attacking right here? The left side doesn't seem like it's going to be a possibility at this point. Still open, but Riot will probably try to close that at some point. Making a deer uh, mill right there. What do you think about this? For, is it really necessary to make a mill right there? Mm, well, he didn't use his Eagle Warrior because he wanted... Whoa! Well, let's take yeah, a look at the engagement. Riot, uh, which just uh, kept on walking, got a couple of unnecessary hits. Viper is the one bringing in the Eagle Warrior to the fight. That is going to turn everything in his favor. And Riot lost this. four. Lost three. He only had four right there for some reason. No, that, no, no, no he lost four. four. He lost four. four. So, so what a nice Still having nuts. five minutes yep. and an Eagle Warrior. Yep. What a nice nut fight oh for a Riot. Riot just lost everything, didn't even get a kill on Viper's side. And now the villager is coming up top and he has to wall there. Yeah, he because needs if he to wall. It can't be Palisade. Palisade is going to be oh, too wow. slow. Nice job. Making it a house was exactly what he needed to do. Making a Palisade would have been too slow. Yeah, absolutely. It was two tiles and then he need, needs to have like at least 100 HP instantly. So a house was the right option there. I guess he could still be fine if he throws the Palisades fast enough. He does need a couple of Palisades right here. Uh, probably a couple of Palisades right here too. Otherwise, I don't see this going very well for Riot. Viper making sure to lame all this deer. Let's hope that Riot will just go back with those villagers. Otherwise, it could be very hard for him. He chooses to fight. Actually, snipes one of the militia on low HP. Nice job here getting another militia on the way. Viper was trying to follow that villager. Looks like Viper could get one villager right here. No, so nice job here by Ria to be fair. This villager ends up dying. And it looks like that is about And well. maybe this one here. Whoa. Yeah. Two villagers. Two villagers was looking good at the very early stages of this engagement. Ended up going not so bad for the Viper. Viper getting two kills from that rush. Very important. Yeah, and when we asked the Viper, why did he lose two villagers there? He said, yeah, everyone has some blow-ups, as we oh, saw yeah, Riot uh, as well. It looks like Riot was the one having it in this stage. He lost two villagers. Let's see if he will be able to go for Fast Castle. It's going to be close. I feel like it's going to be a bit close. Still quite low yeah, on the food department. The West Farm has no villager on it, right? There's only like eight farms. Yeah, nice spot, nice spot. No villager on this farm right there. Very nice spot indeed. Riot still struggling to get the food to go to Fast Castle. Viper himself clicked up 16 minutes 45 is going to be his Fast Castle time. Incredible Drush FC time here in my opinion with Aztecs after making five militia. Yeah, that's why it's called Fast Castle. Obviously. It's a really fast castle. Impressive macro management right here from the Viper showing his best play indeed. Riot's still struggling. Looks like he was able to click. Will be uh, quite, quite far behind. Something like 40 seconds on the bright side. Looks like all the map is walled. Only the left side is still open, but he will be taking care of that in just a couple of seconds. Yeah, and remember the game against Love Chain. Viper was earlier, he had the aggression, and the other guy was going for the eco upgrade, as we can see, was a bit slower, but got his archers out as well. Got so. his archers out, yeah, so Riot's still very much in this, even though he was the one losing two villagers. Uh, after a quite unsuccessful drush, he lost five, four militias straight away without taking a single hit without getting a single kill from the Viper. Did really not go the way he wanted to. Viper is the one with six archers on the way to Riot's base. And I don't see a chance of getting any good fights at this point. No, but the main difference now, the Viper will not do any damage, but he's walled this time. So he won't like get raided in, like against Love Chain. Very important difference indeed. Still not quite walled, but will be able to do so. Only needs to complete this palisade right here. The rest is close until the edge of the map. Just as we suspected, Viper trying to find a spot to get inside Riot's economy. Not going to be able to do that just yet. Trying to break that house down with a couple of crossbows is going to take a quiet quite a while to be fair so this is now Riot making sure that he does not take a stupid fight here wants to wait until he's got the crossbow one upgrade himself plus one for Riot plus one for the Viper and I think the Viper cancelled his plus two 
I think he was researching Plus 2. And, and then cancelled it, yeah. And did both saw it instead of it. Interesting. So he saw, interesting. okay, there I can't do much damage. So, so let's, let's go concentrate on economy. Indeed, very nice spot once more. Viper does not want to fight Briot when he's on top of the hill. Viper going back a little bit more with his army. And let's take a look at how the economies are looking like. One TC for Viper. He's making a second one right here on the left side. Looks like a very reasonable TC indeed. Considering the rest is pretty much closed. What about Riot? Riot has got one TC. No TC on the making. Does not have the resources for that. Yeah, and now we can see. Okay, the Viper realizes we are going into an expo fight. Better get that split. This plus two upgrade. Yeah, to make sure he's got a better economy after getting the plus two upgrade. Viper with only a couple of archers does not quite have the numbers to match Riot right here, especially considering that Riot does not want to give that hill away, at least not for now. Going forward with the villager is Viper here, so a siege workshop is what we are expecting to see here in Ilford. Yeah, and those Mangonels could do a lot of damage because he can easily get uh, on those walls and the gold spot is waiting behind it's him. It's very close indeed. Now has the range to start attacking the village. He does have the plus two. The meanwhile trying to delay Reed right here on the right side. Not losing a single unit. Killing two so far. This is where the micro is so important and the Viper is on top of it at the same time. Trying to get a kill right here was not quite able. But a couple of these villagers are low HP. Only Reed only saw this now. Loses one villager yeah, in the process. I saw it earlier, but he was trying to rearrange the villagers on top of his gold spot, but there were just too many and blocking too each many other. Too many of them. Too yeah. many of them. I guess the TC is okay. I would have wished yeah. to see a little bit forward here to make sure the archers cannot do anything. I understand why he is doing it. He wants to make sure the villagers don't get any hits, but the Mangonel is on the way. Mangonel is going to kill one villager at least. There he goes. One the villager will die goes pretty soon. Uh, down. He needs to have a siege workshop now. He needs. Let's take a look at. Yeah, he does have the resources for that. He did drop a TC somewhere else right here, and the siege workshop on the way. He might be struggling he has a little no bit. stone, so he can't repair at the moment. Won't be able to repair. It looks like he was able to actually get a couple of kills right here. Killing two of Viper's crossbow. Taking the lead, actually. He's very... He's really uh, behind when it comes to the villager account. Okay, and look at the Viper. He could have sniped the town center, but he had the fear, like, if Riot gets, like, one mangonel, a lot of expos, and, like, three or four eagles out, he can clear everything. So he decides, okay, let's get the barracks first, let's get the houses, or maybe I think he will not go for the house, but he decided to go for the barracks first, and then he will go for guaranteed damage against the town center. Playing safe, indeed. Now, probably going to try and get a couple of hits on that TC. There's still the army of Rhea to take care of. He feels like he's able to do that with only the crossbows. Bringing in now the Manganel. Rhea should be really careful about this. Maybe he can use this dead time to try and snipe the Manganel from the Viper right here. Viper is watching it very closely, making sure he takes the top of the hill. Making sure that won't hit, one hit won't be enough for Riot to actually kill those Mangonels. Yeah, and obviously on both sides they have villagers quite close to repair. Um, yeah, but just as you said, no stone to repair the TC. Yeah. This is where it's going to hurt Riot. He was trying to repair it, it's got no stone though. I'm going to be a little bit hard. That hill is proving really challenging to Riot. Now he's getting one stone with the villager. Nice move, even six stone. Yeah, nice, nice move. As far as I know, repairing stone. a nice job here by Riot. Repairing NTC does not cost any stone, but you need to have stone. Nice attack round shot right here by the Viper, predicting exactly where Riot was going to go. Riot changes, trades the fight once more. Nice job here by Riot. And now the, getting uh, the score Riot is lead. attacking at the wood line. He was attacking here the wood line. Looks like he was able to get a villager. Lost a crossbowman in the process. And ballistics coming up for the Viper. Viper is not looking to go into an Imperial Age really fast, wants to stay castle a little bit longer. This is the time when Riot needs to be careful with those manga nails. Looks like Viper's got one of its own right here on the top of the hill. Let's try to check out what is Riot going to do. I wish he wouldn't be that close to the Siege Workshop. Let's see if Viper is going to be able to get a couple of kills. Riot, that is. There are a couple of villages right here. Riot just 
not quite see them. Looks like Viper was able to take one of the mango nails, and this could be quite an interesting fight. Oh, Ridge nice is the first take. one to take a hit. Guns wants to take the villagers to actually take down the mango nail. Is able to do it. He's going to start repairing the mango nail. Everything is going to be fine for him. I was a little bit disappointed that Ridge didn't go a little bit further right here to the left to find those villagers from the Viper. I love to see the Viper building like two or three eagles would easily clear up those villagers and the total mangonels And yet. the mangonel, correct. There's a little bit more braiding white here from Riot. Doesn't look like he was able to get a villager this time. Still annoying the Viper though. So nice job by Riot taking a look at the villager difference. It's now nine villagers behind, still behind. So Viper still very much ahead. Let's try to understand how far is he from Imperial Age. Not that far. Riot does need a little bit longer. But he is the one with three mangonels at this point, Nilpferd. If he wants to be aggressive with them, I guess this is going to be the time. He wants to break in here, but Viper coming in from behind. Yeah, but only mangonels without any protection of Expos? Could be they dangerous. To, Could be dangerous much. indeed. Riot is going to try and get away from here. Looks like, uh, will he be able to? No, Viper splitting himself through many directions. Ah, going back with the second patch because he did see something coming up right here from the left side. This is the chance for Riot to get a couple of kills. One villager goes down, two on the way. Three mangonels are there. Let's see, is Viper going to do an Eagle Warrior? No, he clicked up to Imperial Age. He does need to make sure he does not lose too much economy right here in Ilford. Yeah, and the Riot should know that the Viper is going to Imperial Age now, because the Viper did add new barracks, as you can see. So, Good. let's see how Riot will react. There are obviously two options, go Imperial Age yourself, or go full Castle Age and try to block all the gold spots of the Astor. Let's see if this is going to be good. I think it will going to be good, because Viper is so far away with his army, he's still all the way right there on the right side of the map. Needs to walk a whole lot of tiles to get there, to be fair, but Riot was not quite able to get a lot of kills. Looks like he didn't get a single kill, so maybe trying to destroy that TC would be an option. Viper, at the same time, going in with his army, with his army as well. I need to get a couple of hits there. He goes, another villager goes down. Very interesting map, very interesting fight so far. Riot has now got the villager advantage. Yeah, and Riot is still blocking the main gold spot of the Viper. Luckily enough, he has the one still using in the south, this one as you can see. But this will run out shortly. And on small spots, if you have like 30 villagers, they don't work as efficiently. And the town center goes down here for the Viper. Nice job by Riot. He's gonna give him the chance to pull ahead in the villager number once more. It's 80 against 76 at this point. Viper's still trying to do whatever he can do right there, but there's a mangonel from Riot waiting for him. Riot doing really nicely this game so far. Nilfer was able to hold against the Viper. Will be a little bit later to Imperial Age, but not so much later. Yeah, I think not so much later, but um, Elito Eagle Warriors will clear his main base, and then he needs to attack ASAP against Riot. But Riot should have a good defense by now. Let's take a look at Viper. He's got a couple of elite Eagle Warriors. The upgrade's just about to finish. Bam, and now he's attacking. Yep, Perfect he's timing, attacking. It looks like he will be able to keep his TC alive. And those crossbows are no match to these elite Eagle Warriors. 4 plus 2 is there already. Viper will be trying to make the 4 plus 4, which makes these elite Eagle Warriors virtually unhittable by TCs. And Viper is already trying to raid a little bit. Looks like he's trying to do so Ooh, with Crossbowman first. And spotting this gold right here is so important for him. Yeah, what a sweet spot. Man. Even three explos are totally doing the job. Are yet. enough to be annoying, right? Are more than enough to be annoying. Good thing for Riot. Looks like he was able to close himself completely. So as far as I can see, there's no chance that Viper can get inside his base. Maybe here. Yeah, looks like there's a hole here. So if Viper actually spots, this could be a hard time for Riot. Riot on Imperial Age himself. Let's take a look at the military numbers heavily in favor of the Viper at this point. Yeah, and he still has the Siege Rocks up, up, up here, so you can do some pressure still on this main gold spot. And he's controlling this one up front, next to the Monastery. He's raiding the one on the right-hand side. So this is basically the only gold spot Riot has at the moment. Uh, Riot could be having a nice fight. He's got the 4 plus 4 already. No such thing for the Viper. Viper's trying to go for the top of the hill. He manages to get it. 
Oh, maybe Rhea should not be trying to fight the Siege Workshop, but fight the actual army of the Viper. Viper still only on 4 plus 2, no 4 plus 4. Viper bringing in a couple more reinforcements. He's got attack upgrades. Riot only now did his first one, so they're sort of matched when it comes to attack upgrades. But Riot has got the 4 plus 4. Viper only 4 plus 2. And I think we will see a lot of Eagle Warrior dancing on. This is great for the Viper. Great. Keeping Riot busy. And Riot's going to take a very bad fight. He's not using all of his units. Yeah, he's going to lose a whole lot of units unnecessarily right there. He's not going look to be able... Look at the able. military count. Yeah, and look, look at what is happening here. I'm not sure Riot realizes he's got a couple of elite Eagle Warriors right there. Maybe he will, I think he will be able to clear this off, but could be really, really bad. Yeah, and at the meanwhile, there will be a lot of dancing of those eagle warriors because you just try to mess your enemy. And look at this house; it has only very little HP, and he can easily go, go in. 200 HP now getting focused by the Viper, and I think he might get in and then totally raid all the ego. Warriors. Yeah, problem from Riot. He's only got this gold available, the one here at the right. Yeah, he does not have any villages right there, so that gold is about to run out. The third gold is still here unused, and Viper has now got the possibility to just run in if he wants to. Yeah, and all the raids of Riot now kind of do going nowhere because so many yields are falling and you don't want to fight like against 10 killing 10 villagers but losing all your eagles at the moment okay viper does go in with a couple of elite eagle warriors look at this beautiful expose yeah, it's Still just so hard to kill them right hits all the time. so hard to kill them and riot seems to be able to defend so far right here Oh, just look at the military count. 80 against 46. He has more eagle warriors than villagers at this point. It's really hard for Riot at this point. Going to try and close that once more with one house. Viper does not have any ranged units anymore, so Riot might just be able to actually close that on time. The stone walls need to go up faster for you, Riot. The house is as good as gone. Viper gives up at the very last second for whatever reason that might have been. Oh, interesting house there. Controlling a lot of the map actually, so I like it. What the Viper needs to do is attack more on the right hand side because that's the only gold spot Rio has at the moment. And it's using... still open. Oh man, using only three villagers as well. No good mining camp. Yeah, the Being mining camp is on there. the other side, right? It's gonna take ages for those villagers to actually deliver. And Ooh. look at this amount of Eagle Warriors right here from the Viper. Those have got the f 9 plus 4. He still does not have the 4 plus 4. I guess he acknowledges this is more important to get the attack upgrades. And he's building a castle now, so Garland Wars and come in soon as well. Way, and Riot cannot take a fight. There's no chance. Viper has just got too many units. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's just 90 elite Eagle Warriors at this point. There's no chance Riot can match these numbers at this point in time. Yeah, but at the moment it's good that he can prevent Viper from actually taking a fight at this time. Yeah, well, so Riot is doing everything right. He doesn't have the numbers, so he just has to run around and does not get a fight. But what is he doing? Needs Losing to wait. Eagle, yeah. eagle, a single eagle here, a single eagle there. Needs to wait a little bit longer, but as long as he waits, Viper is taking the opportunity to start shrinking the control of the whole map. He just placed down a very important castle right there. Viper is not going to give up on the chase of those Eagle Warriors. And it's by now 100 military units from the Viper. And that means 100 military, 100 villagers. Perfect eco balance. It's got to be perfect eco balance. And the last armor upgrade on the way for the Viper. Yeah, so he has a huge amount and now taking a great fight against Riot. Not the best one he could ever think of, but still a good one. And it's tough to retreat with different groups and so many Eagle Warriors. Because you have like, like three groups, because it's more than eight. So hard to control. And so new Eagle Warriors coming, so in what group will you add them? And it's like impossible to control everything. That's why you yeah. saw such a bad retreat, but look at the upgrade. Yeah, this, is, upgrade the yeah, this is what I don't understand as well. This hole has been open the whole time right here. Reed's gonna suffer once more in a very hard blow right there. Let's see if he's gonna have the chance of getting a good fight right here. Not as of yet, and Viper will be on 9 plus 8 anytime soon. Garland Wars just finished. More raiding happening right here everywhere on Riot's space. And why don't you just close that gap, Riot? Why? And with the Viper now regrouping, getting all the eagles and will take a huge fight pretty soon. 
And I think it will be the last fight of the game. Last fight of the game, probably. Riot still only on 55 units. Not able to match the units of the Viper Conscription on the way as well. And going into the big fight now. Take a, take let's a take a look here yeah. at the middle. Not going too bad here for Riot. Uh, it is my feeling. But by now, Viper will have the 9 plus 8. And there's no way he can actually lose this. Coming in with a couple more units. Viper, Riot needs to go back. It does, I don't think he's even got a cancel at this point. And that's the GG wall played. We felt like it was coming. Riot tried to delay it as long as he could. But... That's it. Well played, a Viper. At some point, looked like Riot could do something, but that really good start from the Viper, killing those villagers, completely obliterating the rush from Riot, proved essential. Yeah, and he took a good fight at the end, but only against half of the army. Yeah, only against <laughs> half of the army. He did get a couple of nice skills, but he still was twice. Uh, it was still twice less units. Let's take a look at the military. Yeah, largest army, 101, 62 for Riot. A huge difference right there. Let's try to fix the score. That is going to be 1-0 right here for the Viper. Home map for...